Hey folks, welcome back. So uh, the next part of the lab is the information systems architecture part. Uh, let's go through the um, the introductory slides to it. So um, looking at the purple crayon, uh, we're looking at logical application components and physical application components at this point. Um, examples of a logical application component, a sales licensing tool, a web development tool, an enterprise architecture tool. It enables you uh, to have a logical application layer, enables you to have um, uh, more understanding uh, of the architecture, better analysis, um, understand why a tool is being used. Uh, for example, using Photoshop for web development, using Microsoft PowerPoint for enterprise architecture, sometimes. Um, so you can understand if you're, you're um, 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 deleting licenses of a particular application, what effects it might have on people using that um, tool. So um, system architect, the application component definition um, has a toggle choice for logical or physical. So there's one application component definition and um, you specify whether it's logical or physical through a, a, a Boolean choice, really. Um, and, and then you report on it um, that way as well. Um, and so notice in the, in the TOGAF meta model that um, logical application components are, are, are realized by physical application components. Physical application components have relation to the technology components, right? So System Architect is a physical app uses a technology application like Microsoft SQL Server for the underlying database. Um, Microsoft SQL Server as a technology component um, is related to a logical technology component like um, database, right? Uh, but there is no relationship between logical app component and a logical technology component. That would be too much information um, and TOGAF does, does not um, have you create that relationship, although some clients have customized the metal oil to capture that. Um, so here's some examples again, logical apps and physical apps on this slide. Um, Self-explanatory, you can pause the um, um, video and, and, and examine that further. And, and then we talk about reference models. A lot of, there's some reference models out there for applications and one of the most common ones uh, used is the, the TM forum, Telecommunications Forum. TAM, the um, application model, the tele telecom application uh, model of the TM form. And so that's used in telecom. It's, it can be used in some other industries. Um, it provides the, the um, applications that are used in the telecommunications industry across organizations, and it slices them up by um, aspects of an organization. We've, we've kind of... Um, push the envelope here a little bit in using the TAM for this banking example. Uh, doesn't quite fit that well. Those, some of the TAM is, is used, uh, some of the applications in the TAM are used in banking. And so we, we've tried to just introduce the fact that there are reference models out there for applications and let, let's use it in our workshop. Um, so that said, time for lab five and six. What you're going to do is import a spreadsheet of physical applications. So you've um, you're going to bring that into System Architect. You're going to visualize physical application interfaces. Um, then you're going to bring in some Explorer reports and analytic collections. So System Architect's native reporting engine enables you to not only run reports and build reports and push them out to HTML, but also to visually show reports in terms of cause-effect explorer diagrams and and then run analytics using the same same kind of reports but specifying colors or icons to put next to symbols to show information and so we're gonna you're gonna we've built some reports for you and, and you import them um, and then you use them to visualize uh, some application interfaces you add an application through a matrix another way to get it information we're trying to have you understand TOGAF understand the tool and what you can do in the tool to um, to get information in and analyze it and then lab six um, we um, lab six we um, import the TAM an XML doc, uh, file and you get the TAM and then 
you um, import a file, a lot of importing at this point. We didn't want you to have uh, struggle and create stuff. We just import it, and the import it maps logical to physical apps, M maps some of that TAM to some of the physical apps you've imported, and then you build a report, which is getting used to the reporting engine. It's a fairly easy, easy reporting GUI. Build a report for functions, their logical apps, their physical apps. You generate it to HTML, then you generate it to Grid, which is a nice feature because the grid enables you to see um, uh, the report and you can click on any of the cells in the grid and open up the definition and edit it and uh, one of the things we have you do is generate it and then specify partial there's a toggle choice for partial you can specify partial at any level in a SQL query and get the full set of information not just a set of information where there's a complete set across the rows where there's a function related to a logical app related to a physical app in this case a, a partial report will enable you to get everything every function and whether or not it has a logical app and whether or not it has a phys physical app and that will show you gaps in the information and you can go in and edit it and then finally here there's an optional exercise which you don't have to take uh, modeling data flows between logical apps which again something we see customers do the need to model um, uh, architecture information that isn't out there in a source of record so you know enterprise architecture isn't always about harvesting sources of record sometimes you can't find that information you need to to, um, to architect and model it uh, what is or what will be so um, we touch on that modeling data flows between logical apps so go ahead uh, perform labs five and six and I'll see you back on the next video.